Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Ernie Squin. This is Vlog Ernie Vlog. <clears throat> if you're new to my channel, um, I make videos on my marmoset monkey over there. Her name is Little Bits. Um, today, I have a really nice video for you guys. Um, this, I'm gonna be kind of quick with it. Um, I'm gonna be very thorough though, so I'm gonna go through everything that you need before you buy your marmoset monkey and 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 how to get a marmoset monkey because. Um, I always get that at, at all the time and there are a bunch of scams out there and they will try to scam you So um, I'm gonna try to cover that today. So let's get into it. Okay, the first thing you need to know are they legal in your state? There's only about I think 17 states that primates are legal in and Kansas I, I, I live here in Kansas I'm um, one of the states that don't require no license or permit. So they're just outright legal. So yeah So first thing first always check see if they're legal in your state because the last thing you want to do is to get one and then you know uh, wildlife fishery game or someone like that finds out and they end up taking them away so that's number one <clears throat> alrighty so um, number two what you need to do is find a reputable breeder now I used um, I went to Kathy Woods and I do have her information you can contact me if you'd like to go through her that's where I got my marmoset from but there is another guy um, Podgy Animals House I've never um, um, have I don't have much experience with him but from what I know from other breeders he is reputable there's also a website directly that you can check out it's called exotic animals for sale if you just do a quick Google search search and I'll leave uh, the name in the description as well hey okay so now after you've located a breeder the next thing you need to do um, to make sure that they're valid ask for references meaning ask for numbers of people who've, who've already bought pets from them so that you can call them yourself um, you know, ask for like, you know, two or three, you don't need a whole lot and just ask them what their experience was with the breeder so you can know if, you know, if their monkey turned out well, any health issues and if they're legit or not. Okay, so I even had people try to scam me, you know, by sending in like 200 or 300 bucks or so. But again, if it's less than 3,000, it's most likely a scam. These guys run between three to $5,000. Okay, so for number three, because I'll just kind of tell you just kind of how I went through my process. Um, I was on exotic animal. Um, for sale.com and I just went through a bunch of breeders that had uh, marmosets listed for sale now when you're looking for your marmoset you have to be careful because if it's an ad like oh um, um, you know buy you know get this monkey up for adoption no one's giving up monkeys for adoptions no one's gonna give them up they're gonna give them someone reputable like a, a zoo or something like that so you're gonna see a lot of people that says monkey for adoption you know they want you to send them 500 800 bucks that's a scam. Do not do it. I repeat. Trust me. Now, another way that you know it's a scam is if they say they ship primates, like literally in a box, and ship them by mail, because it's illegal in the United States to ship monkeys. The only way to transport them is a you have to either go pick them up yourself, or b they have to deliver them to you. So those are your only two options. So when you're getting a marmoset, set, you have to consider that factor that in. If if you want it delivered to you then it's gonna probably run you an extra thousand dollars so that three four thousand dollar monkey is now gonna be four or five thousand dollars because you want them transported to you versus if you go and pick them up yourself like me I picked up her and um, from a lady in Tennessee Kathy and it, it took me about nine nine and a half hours but again I saved 800 it only cost about 200 bucks to drive and gas so I saved about 800 bucks by picking her up so um, that is something you have to factor in and consider Okay, so now you're dead set on getting your marmoset monkey. So what's the next steps now? Okay, so after you now decided on getting a marmoset, you now need to get a small cage for them, like I have for her. Nothing too big because again, they don't. She's a lot more active. I just put her in a new toy, so she's just going wonkers over it right now. But they don't need anything too big because a super huge cage, they can end up falling or you know banging themselves up and end up hurting themselves. So you want them to be kind of contained. Uh, and that's her playing with her new chimey little bird toy in there, as you can see. Okay, so yeah, so now that you have your monkey, you're gonna need a heating pad, um, and really just, um, really that's it. I mean, a heating pad, the cage, um, a couple of things for her to sleep in, and some food. Now, as far as the food goes, um, I have another video that you can see. She's gonna be pretty much on formula um, between the weeks of, you know, whenever you get them. So between four to 12 weeks, she's gonna be on formula for most of it. So that's what you're gonna be feeding her about every four hours or however often. Um, right now she's on marmoset diet because she's at 13 weeks old um, as you can see she's very happy and very active so she's just back there just you know living their monkey life all 
All right, so now there are other websites you can also get your monkey from too. But again, you just want to make call them and really speak to them because if they're a scammer, they're not going to want to talk to you on the phone. Uh, and it's always some huge story about how they moved or something like that, and they want you to send them 500, 800 bucks. Pretty much, if there's if it's less than 3,000, it's most likely a scam. Also, another thing to note is that when you do get your monkey, you have to make sure that you know of a monkey specific breeder within the area. I could try to leave a list, uh, a link to the website that will show you just some um, primate breeders that that I know of that uh, are may possibly in your area because you really want someone who has seen monkeys before because the last thing you want is for her to get super sick and then you just to bring her in, to a normal vet and they, they don't know anything about her because they've never seen monkeys before or they've never seen them before so that's another step but pretty much once you have your breeder selected um, and you've now went through the steps you've bought her starter cage you're pretty much ready to bring her home and then from there um, you know that's that's when the challenge really gets started now, if they do ask you for a deposit, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a scam. That just could be that they're very serious about their business and that maybe a lot of people have hit them up saying that, you know, they're going to come through, which happens a lot, and then they don't show up. So um, with me, I actually did send in a deposit. I sent a $500 deposit. And the way you want to do that is do it by something where you can get your money back. So like PayPal is a great option. You can send pay PayPal and don't send friends and family because friends and family is going to go through instantly and you won't be able to. Um, open up dispute so send as a gift or service so that if the person scams you you can at least get your money back um, and that's how you'd want to do that there <laughs> finger finger All right, guys, so I really hope that I was able to um, kind of just let you know how you can get your marmoset monkey. It is possible. You just got to avoid the scams out there. And once you get that and you have your three to 5,000, hey, uh, you're now ready to get your monkey. So um, thanks, you guys, for tuning in. Um, definitely um, hit that um, like button if you like this video and it was very informative. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.